they weren't always meant for children, they are often warnings. A lot of them also look at that transition between childhood and adulthood. The pricking of the finger and the drawing of blood, that unconscious state, and then reawakening. So a lot of those stories are a metaphor for the changes that happen to girls. My name is Lorena Carrington. The exhibition I have on display at the Bendigo Library is called Brave Girls of Fairy Tales. It's about the strong girls of fairy tales, are those brave girls who have been lost to history. My inspiration would be my daughters. It was very frustrating reading to my amazing, strong children about stories about the princess who, who sat and waited. So I went looking for stories that told a, a stronger story. Vasilisa put the skull on the end of the stick and darted away through the forest, running as fast as she could, finding her path by the skull's glowing eyes. I chose the story of Vasilisa, I think in part just because it's a, it's a great story. It's got adventure, it's got excitement, it's got some death. <laughs> it's got flaming skulls. It's got a girl who, with the blessing of her mother, vanquishes those who um, are trying to do her harm. I have three pieces in the exhibition. The first is a live terrarium. It's made to look like a deep, dark forest. It contains uh, the Baba Yaga's house and Vasilisa and those skulls. <laughs> in the second glass case, I've got layers of glass slides that are almost like a stage set. The glass slides were um, made from many individual photographs, which I montaged together. I photograph sticks and leaves and mushrooms. In the last case, I've got a book, and it's a page of text from the Vasilisa story, and it's also got the final image. The Baba Yaga seized from one wall one of the skulls with burning eyes and flung it after her. There, she howled. Take it. Fairy tales are very important because they tell a story through the ages. It's a connection that we have through hundreds of years of storytelling. <laughs>